Its full name is Carcaraclus megalodon, but some shark enthusiasts just call it the Meg. Whatever name it goes by, this giant was the biggest baddie of the ocean when it terrorized the waters two million years ago. If you're afraid of modern sharks, get ready for these facts, because this prehistoric predator puts them all to shame. We'll start with the obvious here. This shark species was the largest this planet has ever seen. Different estimates put its size anywhere from 45 up to 60 feet in length. To put that into perspective, 60 feet would make the megalodon about four times the size of the average great white shark. The meg weighed up to 100 tons. Again, for comparison, the T-Rex weighed a mere 9 tons. The biggest shark living today is the whale shark, which can grow up to 40 feet long. So, there's really no other shark that can compare to the megalodon's massive size. There's currently a very limited amount of megalodon fossils. Shark skeletons are made of cartilage, which doesn't fossilize very well. So, that means almost all that remains of the mighty meg are its teeth, which have been found on every continent except for Asia and Antarctica. Given that its fossilized teeth are everywhere, scientists have gathered that the megalodon traveled throughout the world. Using these fossils as a guide, scientists have tried to put a picture together of what this giant predator actually looked like and how it lived. Many of the fossils have been found on Shark Tooth Hill near Bakersfield, California. This is a popular site where people can dig for teeth while wearing protective gloves. Although some shark teeth have been buried for ages, they can still be sharp enough to cut through the skin. Speaking of teeth… The name itself says it all. Megalodon means big tooth. Most of its teeth were about 4 to 5 inches long, but the largest tooth ever found was 7.48 inches and it was discovered in Peru. With a rare size like that, these fossils can be very valuable. A 7-inch high-quality megalodon tooth can be sold for up to $50,000. But if you have a small tooth in your collection, don't expect to get a large amount of cash for it. Small megalodon teeth tend to be valued quite low. Giant clams are the largest mollusks in the world. They can grow around 4 feet in length and weigh more than 440 pounds. So if you're planning on trying to pick one up, you might want to train first by lifting two baby elephants at once. Each and every one of these clams has its own unique coloration, which makes them one of the most visually stunning creatures in the ocean. It usually keeps to itself and lives off sugars and protein produced by algae. And if you find house hunting a stressful experience, you might have some sympathy for the giant clam. It lives in the warm waters of the South Pacific and Indian Oceans and, before settling down, it needs to find the perfect location. It searches far and wide for the ideal spot of sand or coral reef to call home. It's got to be good, because this creature will remain in the same place for the rest of its life. When left undisturbed, they can live for over 100 years. Now, this crab looks like something you'd see in a video game or some sci-fi alien movie. My goodness, just look at it! The giant spider crab lives in the waters near Japan. Their legs reach about 11 and a half feet from claw to claw, and the body can be around 14.5 inches in diameter. It spends most of its time looking for animal remains, mollusks, and shellfish to feed on. But don't be fooled thinking this crab looks a little twiggy and weak. Its massive size alone keeps most predators away. When one does decide to attack it though, the crab's hard exoskeleton provides it with excellent protection. The design on its back also helps it blend into the environment and disappear if it needs to. That's why the giant spider crab can live up to an impressive 100 years when left alone. Unfortunately, that's not the case since the species is targeted by the fishing industry and sold as a delicacy in Japan. The Great White gets its name from its distinct white belly under its gray body. As for the great part, that's simply because some of them can grow over 20 feet long. As for your average great white shark, it's usually about 15 feet in length, making it the largest predatory fish in the world. As predators, they love to feed on sea lions, seals, and small whales. Thanks to its strong tail and torpedo-shaped body, the great white can swim at speeds up to 15 miles per hour when in pursuit of its prey. Yeah, that means we humans have no chance of escape if we find ourselves in its crosshairs. 
Actually, great whites are responsible for up to half of the yearly shark attack incidents reported worldwide. They have a highly evolved sense of smell and can sniff one tiny drop of blood in 25 gallons of water. So if you're bleeding, even the tiniest bit, it's probably a good idea to avoid going into the ocean. Pacific Sleeper Shark, 23.6 feet long. Pacific Sleeper Sharks look unlike any other shark. Their body is shaped like a torpedo, they have a wide, blunt head, and their mouth is pretty small. The biggest representatives of this species can grow as long as 23 feet. One more thing that makes Pacific Sleepers stand apart is their color. It's not that silver and white shade you'd expect from a proper shark. Dark gray, or even black, helps Pacific Sharks blend in with the sunless depths in which they live. In addition, Pacific Sleepers have tiny eyes, which are most often colonized by parasites. These nightmarish minuscule creatures occupy the outer layer of the shark's eye and munch on the tissue, making the sharks almost blind. Luckily, they have a perfect sense of smell to help them not to starve. It's probably obvious that Pacific sharks live in the Pacific Ocean. But while researchers used to think that this species lived only in the north, some of these gigantic predators have been spotted near Mexico and even Taiwan. Tiger Shark, 24 feet long. The tiger shark is one of the largest shark species in the world. Their average length can reach 16 feet, but the largest specimen reached 24 feet. They can weigh 800 to 1500 pounds, which is heavier than the average horse. Why exactly are they called tiger sharks? It's because when a baby shark is born, it's covered with dark stripes resembling those of a tiger. Unfortunately, this pretty pattern fades when a shark becomes older. Just like their namesakes, tiger sharks are excellent hunters. Besides using their perfect eyesight and developed sense of smell, these sharks have one more advantage. Near their snouts are special pores filled with a substance that resembles jelly. This substance can sense electric fields. All living beings give off some kind of electric field. Thus, a tiger shark can always find its prey. The most unique thing about a tiger shark is its teeth. They are not just super sharp, they also have saw-like edges. These teeth are so strong that they can easily bite through a clam or a sea turtle. Uh-oh, one more unwanted image to make our nightmares more exciting. Basking shark, 39 feet long. The basking shark is the second largest shark alive today. Surprisingly, you don't have to scatter away as soon as you see this bus-sized giant. Basking sharks are gentle creatures whose diet consists of fish eggs, plankton, and other tiny organisms. Basking sharks feed by filtering water. That's why their mouths are simply colossal. Adult sharks have three-foot-wide maws. In only one hour, a shark can filter more than 1,800 tons of water through its gills. Why basking sharks? This name appeared thanks to the habit these peaceful leviathans have of lounging near the surface of the water and seemingly basking in sunlight. In fact, soaking up some sun isn't their main goal. The higher the latitudes are, the more plankton congregates there. Catch a lot. The most massive toothed whale has the biggest brain on Earth. Theirs weighs an average of 15 pounds, five times that of an adult human. These massive marine mammals feed on giant squid. Bacillosaurus. When its fossils were first discovered, it was mistaken for a marine reptile and given a name that means king lizard. But it's really a type of ancient whale that had small hind limbs. Say whale. The third largest whale species and one of the fastest in the world can reach speeds up to 30 miles per hour. That's rare for creatures of this size. Shastosaurus, the largest marine reptile to ever live, would take up three quarters of a basketball court. It had no teeth, so it probably ate by lunging at schools of fish with its mouth wide open, something called suction feeding. Blue whale, the most massive creature to ever live on Earth is so big that its heart alone is the size of a golf cart, and its vessels are as big as buckets. Their songs can be heard from hundreds of miles away. But we still can't make out the lyrics. Lion's Mane Jellyfish This is the largest jellyfish in the world. Imagine a tower bell with tentacles almost half as long as a football field. A jellyfish of this size can entangle you with its tentacles. But they're not at the top of the marine food chain. They feed hungry sea turtles and anemones also pronounced anemones. Blue Bottle Jellyfish Don't let the name fool you, this strange creature is actually something called a siphonophore. 
An animal made up of a colony of organisms. It, or they, is the longest living being on this planet. The tentacles, which are a separate organism from the float on top, is almost the length of the Tower of Pisa. And they're venomous. Of course they are. Why should we catch a break now? It's true that sharks have a very developed sense of smell that's hundreds of times stronger than yours. Just like humans, they have nostrils, which are situated beneath their snouts. But their nostrils are designed specifically for smelling rather than breathing. So it's probably no wonder that sharks can detect tiny amounts of different substances in the water. But even though some sharks can decipher smells better than others, no shark will be able to smell your blood in the water from farther than a thousand feet away. Now, let's imagine that you cut your foot on a sharp stone while swimming in the ocean. Ow! First, the smell of your blood would have to travel the distance to the shark's nostrils. And how fast it goes will depend on the water currents. The more active they are, the faster the smell will reach the predator. Then, the shark would have to decipher the smell and find it alluring enough to react. And finally, it would need some time to reach you. So you can relax. You'll have enough time to get back to the safety of the beach and get a band-aid for that cut. And maybe a pina colada. By the way, few people are aware that sharks aren't that interested in hunting humans. Most of them are very particular about their diet. For example, the lemon shark, which can smell a teeny drop of blood in the water from quite a distance, doesn't have people on its menu whatsoever. Mollusks and bony fish? Gladly. An occasional seabird or a smaller shark? Hmm, why not? A human? Ew, no thanks. By the way, have you ever seen a shark in the wild or in an aquarium? If so, write about your experience in the comments below. Anyway, that's only one of the many myths that surround the deadly predator. Let's debunk or confirm several more. There's a stereotype that sharks purposefully hunt humans. But most shark attacks happen because these predators mistake swimmers for their usual prey, like seals or sea lions. The other reason why a shark might attack is its curious nature. This predator tends to bite things to figure out if they'll make a suitable meal, just like humans do at a buffet. There's an opinion that once a shark stops swimming, its life will be over. However, this idea is only partially true. First of all, it's important to understand how sharks breathe. In fact, they can do it in two ways – buckle pumping and ram ventilation. While using the first method, sharks pull the water into their mouth with the help of their cheek muscles and then expel it through their gills. And this method allows predators to lie on the seafloor without movement. But if the sharks use ram ventilation, they have to keep moving so that the water moves over their gills. That's why most people believe that without constant swimming, sharks won't get the oxygen necessary for life. But the catch is that only 20 or so shark species out of more than 400 use ram ventilation alone. And it's actually true that a few shark species won't be able to breathe if something prevents them from moving. But the rest of the predators use either both breathing methods or the buckle pumping method and can easily rest on the seafloor. This beautiful location is situated in Florida. It would be a perfect place for both beachgoers and surfers, but for hundreds of hunting sharks. The water close to the beach teems with fish, and that's what attracts sharks to this place. New Smyrna Beach has been called the shark capital of the world by the International Shark Attack File. This is one list that you don't want to be on. In 2008, almost 40% of all shark attacks on the planet happened in this region. So, if you're a thrill seeker who dares to enter the water, there will be at least one shark at a distance of 10 feet from you. That's what scientists who have been monitoring the beach say. The worst thing about this situation is that the sharks living in the waters along New Smyrna Beach are bull sharks. They are notorious for their aggressive behavior. So, think twice before you risk a swim. Because of excessive hunting, there are fewer sharks around the world. People hunt them to get ingredients for things like shark fin soup or shark cartilage pills, without realizing that not enough sharks means not enough oxygen for us all to breathe. What's the connection? Sharks feed on smaller fish, and smaller fish feed on phytoplankton, tiny organisms that live in the seabed. 
Photoplankton consumes carbon dioxide, releasing oxygen. Without sharks, there'd be too many fish eating the plankton. It all boils down to one thing – a lack of oxygen. Scientists are continually studying these fascinating creatures, leading to medical breakthroughs. They're especially interested in shark DNA and the possibility that it holds a cure for tumors, since their genes, in some way, protect sharks against them. What's more, researchers found a special compound called squalamine in dogfish sharks' tissue that can fight various chronic infections in humans. Likewise, shark skin has unique antibacterial properties, which inspired scientists to invent a special surface coating called sharklet. Sharklet mimics the diamond pattern of shark skin and is used in hospitals to reduce the risk of infection. Great white sharks can move at a speed of up to 25 miles per hour. The secret is in their denticles, small flat V-shaped scales. These scales significantly lessen drag force and turbulence. Olympic swimsuit designers did their best to duplicate the shark's denticles, creating a fabric that makes swimmers sleeker and faster in the water. The shark's fin also became a huge inspiration for inventing new technology for clean energy. One Australian company made a device that captures tidal energy from the ocean and converts it into electric power with minimal environmental impact. A 2018 Harvard University study suggests that these unique denticles on shark skin can also help to create more efficient planes and cars. The team of engineers found out that they increase lift. Lift is the force that pulls a plane up when the pressure of the air on top of the wing is less than the pressure of the air under the bottom of the wing. So, by incorporating 3D printed images of the denticles on the wings, engineers hope to make them more aerodynamic. They can also be used for vortex generators, a small vane attached to the top of the rear windshield of a car, which increases the downforce of a vehicle.